You can pull this up on PubMed. As a matter of fact, here's an abstract right here. It goes through the cell wall. That it goes through the cell wall and the health complications. Or membrane. Especially damaging to the lungs, the spleen, causes an inflammatory response in the gut and also an inflammatory response in the body as a general. And Crohn's why, type diseases are epidemic all of a sudden. Inflammatory diseases are epidemic all of a sudden. Autoimmune diseases are epidemic. So it's just another God you know, thing that you need to be aware of and, and look out for. And even the, uh, the National Organic Program, we still allow... Uh, nanoparticles to be used in organic foods. All right, stay there. The, you know the short segments at the end of the hour, the start of the hour. It's the clock we have. It's one of the standard ones. I hate it. Some stations don't even care this five minutes. When we come back, I'm going to shut up for the 12 minutes. I want you to start over, run through it all, then get through your whole analysis because this is so stunningly important. And if you, the viewers and listeners, send out this audio file today from the podcast to your friends and family or the video link or the YouTube tonight or tomorrow, it can have a big effect. I mean, so many times what we cover here first, maybe we should try to get the food babe who we promote her stuff. Uh, you know, our audience does get her to go after nanotech as well because we need to get a chain reaction going here because this is really the big issue. Dr. Group, stay there. We'll be back. We're talking nanotech. And for a decade or more, it's been in food packaging. It's being put in the foods. But now they're rolling out with completely changed foods that lasts longer, tastes better, have more flavor, and it's, it's, it's just totally untested. And then you've got nanotech also in vaccines. We reported on this years ago, what I called brain-eating vaccines. Just like they go, oh, we don't sell baby parts, we sell fetus parts. But only embryos are restricted. The tiny ones you can't sell, the big ones you can. And then they laugh. That's how we play the game. It's the same thing. They go, oh, we have a vaccine for depressed people. For the veterans. And then it's a live engineered nanotech virus. So virus is just information, RNA, that goes in and programs the body. Simply amazing. Yeah, scroll down. We can show TV viewers the actual video. And they just announce it like it's fun. Get your new shot and you won't be depressed anymore. It's literally a lobotomy that goes in and eats certain parts of your brain. So this is the brave new world we're facing. And I wonder how far they're going to go. Bill Gates talks about nanotech-delivered vaccines. He talks about forced inoculations, nanotech in foods that inoculates you, where the nanotech crystallizes the live pathogen, then dissolves in the body, but can be grown into the crops themselves, pharmacological. Dr. Group, you've got the floor then we're going to go to phone calls, the toll-free number for questions for Dr. Group, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Dr. Group, go ahead. Well, there's really still not a lot of information on this. If you search nano foods or nanoceuticals or nano pesticides, there's really a limited amount of information. So it is something to be aware of. And the best solution that I can come up with is try to avoid any type of packaged and processed foods, even though there is uh nanoparticles in organic foods the one that you really want to look out for is going to be titanium dioxide zinc oxide in sunscreens as a matter of fact is nanoparticleized and that's causing different types of problems in people we all know that with the geoengineering and the chemtrails that aluminum nanoparticles are being sprayed in the air Another reason why you need to continue to detoxify, clean the air in your home, in your office, put some live plants in there, get a good air purification system so at least you're going to be breathing clean air, eating clean food, and drinking clean water. Some of the things that have been documented out there to contain nanoparticles in there are going to be Mentos, the, the little mint, M&Ms, coffee creamers, chocolate, milk, yogurt, dairy substitutes. I had something happen to me about two years ago where I had intense neck and shoulder and headaches for about two weeks. And I had to, I finally, I had to start eliminating everything in my diet. And I realized that I was using a certified organic coffee creamer whenever I had a cup of coffee, which is like once every couple of days or something like that. But this was severe pain and stiffness. I could barely even turn my head. 
I finally realized when I traced it back to the or certified organic coffee creamer that it had titanium dioxide in it. And titanium dioxide is used as a whitener. It's also, you know, all the pop tarts out there with the white frosting on it or anything white that they want that white color in. So I would highly recommend everybody look for titanium dioxide on the label. That's probably one of the biggest health concerns out there. And when I realized it and I, got, I, I actually typed in titanium dioxide toxic online and was able to pull up a whole list of symptoms, fibromyalgia type symptoms. So it kind of led me to believe that, hey, maybe fibromyalgia is caused by toxic chemicals. So anyway, that's one of the pieces of advice I would give to everybody out there is just read the ingredients and look for titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, and be aware of the possibility of nanoparticles in your food, especially if you're using processed, canned, boxed, non-organic food items. Doc, I'm giving you the floor because you get me so excited. I want to rub. <laughs> keep, keep rolling with all this research you've done. Well, I mean, that's about it, really. I mean, we, the really, these particles were introduced actually in 1959. So they've slowly been gaining speed and gaining speed. And I think it's just at the time right now where we need to educate people and educate the viewers out there and the listeners to just be aware of this and also how do you get these things out of your body and that's another reason why it's so important to cleanse 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 because all of these damaging effects let's talk about cleansing because obviously you designed deep cleanse for infowarslife.com and i want to go over some of the ingredients and go to callers and talk about some of the reviews uh, but basically the infomercial won't last more than five minutes here but last time you were here you also talked about other parts of the cleanse Apple cider vinegar, pure water, uh, sweating more, uh, exercising more. Uh, I mean, let's go through a cleanse that people can do, even if they don't get deep cleanse from InfoWarsLife.com to supercharge things. Well, one of the easiest and most effective ways to cleanse your body is just water. I mean, water in itself detoxifies you. And I'm not talking about tap water, obviously, but if you get a good purified source of water, Add some organic apple cider vinegar to it. You're going to get minerals. You're going to get live enzymes. You're going to get probiotics in the organic apple cider vinegar. And you're actually going to get different types of vitamins in organic apple cider vinegar. So that alone is a really good, effective way to kickstart your body. Or if you don't have a lot of money and you want to continue to detoxify yourself, just drink a lot more water, about half your body weight in ounces a day. And if you do that for a period of like six or seven days and drink only that. And that means not consuming any coffee, not consuming any alcohol, not consuming any of the other damaging beverages. Then you're going to be able to detoxify your body. And that's why all of the old cultures used to do fasting. They used to do 40 day fasting or 10 day fasting or a week fasting from time to time just to give their body time to detoxify Although now we have a thousand fold more chemicals in our environment than those cultures did way back when. And now we have so many poisons in the air and the food and the water and everything else. So that's one of the good ways. If you do have the money, then I always recommend the first part, damaging part is the gut. I mean, you really have to focus on cleansing the intestinal. So apple cider vinegar, do the oxy powder cleanse uh, and then take our deep cleanse. Uh, and, and how do you recommend people take the deep cleanse? Well, I recommend starting off slow, following the instructions on the label. You know, you can even start off with a dropper full twice a day, one in the mor once in the morning on an empty stomach, and then another dropper full in the afternoon. If that causes you to have what's called a Herxheimer reaction or a healing crisis, then I would back off on that amount of dosage just because you can sometimes pull these chemicals and metals out of the body too fast and that could cause a headache it could cause some fatigue it could cause some muscle swollen soreness, lymph nodes swollen lymph nodes and you know you got to give your body time to uh, detoxify and that's what like what you said sweating sweating is a natural detoxification pathway respirating so if you can even join a club even if you're not a big exerciser and get in the steam room for 20 minutes a couple times a week right guys have four ways to eliminate toxins and chemicals from their body you sweat them out you breathe them out when you're doing heavy activity and you're actually respirating 
you urinate them out, and you defecate them out. And that's it. That's the only way you're going to be able to get rid of these toxins. Women have the body. menstrual cycle, too. And women have their menstrual cycle, so women actually have five ways. So really what you want to do is you want to open up all your elimination routes and start eliminating the sources of the chemicals that are coming into your body. And with the assistance of, like, the oxy powder in cleansing and neutralizing the toxins in the intestines, the deep cleanse, which is going to go into the lymphatic system, the blood system, the liver, the spleen, the kidneys, it's, it's, it really is a deep cleanse that's going to happen. And with the components in there, not only are you going to be providing the body with essential minerals and nutrients, but you're also going to be extracting and bonding some of those harmful substances and getting them out of the system. And we know now that some of these chemicals can be stored for 20, 30, 40 years. We've had people that have done the liver shield and the liver cleansing program and taken their stones into a chem, had a friend at a college at a university and taken them in and they were analyzed and they even found like four or five pieces of gum in there that came out from 20, 30 years ago. So we know that the body actually holds, especially gum sometimes, deep in the tissues. I don't know if those were stored deep in the intestines or if those actually really did come out of the liver, probably the intestines. But we do know now that you, it does take time. And sure, a liver cleanse is just absolutely spectacular what it does. We're going to be talking about that again soon. Here's New York. Uh, in New York, had this to say as a review of Deep Cleanse. I'm always toxic cleansing. This product in combination with others is a must for me. Uh, it couldn't be easier to take. I look forward to it twice a day. Life outlook is so much more positive. This replaces my heavy metal detox. And it goes on. The only bad thing is that I run out of it. I love it. Uh, here's another review by Still Free in Idaho. Uh, I don't know any other way than to say I just feel better in general. An overall sense of improved well-being. So I started taking this at the beginning of August. I will uh, be reordering. So thank you for your support, and thank you for checking that out. And again, folks, none of us are perfect. It's a process. I've gone from job of the hut levels five years ago to you know losing almost 70 pounds and having a lot more energy, a lot healthier skin. My mind works a lot better. Makes my temper worse. It seems to be like when I'm kind of in a haze, I'm not that mean, but... All the products at InfoWars Life are just amazing, and they help fund our operation as well. We've got 10% off right now the Secret 12 methyl cobalamin, medical grade, uh, high quality B12 at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And that does help us launch the TV network, put reporters in the field, and do everything we're doing. So thank you so much for your support. We're going to come back and go to your phone calls and shift gears uh, out of the plugging to Dan, Ernie, Matt, Jim, Peter, and others. But most importantly, support our local AM and FM affiliates, become sponsors, or support their sponsors, and spread the word today. By the way, Dr. Group during the break was talking to me, and I was like, hey, don't plug Liver Shield that you developed for us. That's been sold out for four months. And he goes, no, it's not. The truck is on its way here from his laboratory. And I went out and talked to the guys. They checked the tracking. It'll be here tomorrow. So I'm putting it up on the shopping cart, InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com right now. If you want to try to get it again, get the apple cider vinegar that we don't sell, uh, the oxy powder that we do, and do the six-day cleanse, there's nothing in a week more dramatic. I think X2 probably is the most important of everything. It takes about two, three weeks to hit if you have been iodine deficient. Now, this is the true iodine. I'm going to stop plugging there. It's just that Liver Shield is going back up in the next 10 minutes at InfoWarsLife.com as well. Okay, going back to the phone calls or to the phone calls now, Dan, Ernie, Matt, Jim, Peter, and many others. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. Who do you want to go to first, Dr. Group? Let's go to Dan in Indiana. Dan in Indiana, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, guys. Uh, Dr. Group, I have a question for you real quick. Um, a few years ago, I was actually uh, diagnosed with a uh, skin disorder, vitiligo, and I've, I've, I've changed my diet, uh, gone off wheat, um, avoiding dairy, and taken a lot of your products, a lot of the, the, uh, the vitamin B, B12, um, the cleanse, uh, the, the bowel cleanse. Um, just wondered, in, in your opinion, if it were you, um, 
what you might do to accompany that. Dr. Group? Well, usually what I do for skin conditions is I, first of all, clean the intestines with the Oxy powder and then use a really good probiotic blend, and it can take a little while to kind of repair the bowel. Of course, eliminate anything that can be damaging. Also, uh, like an ozonated olive oil to put on the skin sometimes work, but also a vitamin D uh, seems